very excited to see Paul Bettany make the jump from Jarvis, from a disembodied voice to a man on screen. Yeah. Yeah, they're now going to make me work for my money. Oh. <laughs> I used to turn up to a dark room for 45 minutes and get a bag of cash. <laughs> and, and now I have to work. <laughs> so, how, how's, that been, how's that experience been for you? It, everybody's been incredibly welcoming. It's been, you know, it's the most... Ex it's exciting for me. It's been the most exciting thing that's ever happened to my children. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get cool dad points for this? I simply had no interest in what I did until this month. <laughs> That's been cool. And now all the neighborhood kids are going to be turning up to your house and asking you to do the voice. And yeah, you know, I'm, I, I, I've had to keep this secret for a year and a half, and, and uh, so have my kids, which is pretty impressive. You know, at school that they just didn't breathe word out. So. <laughs> that you know of. <laughs> that I know of, exactly. Uh, uh, welcome, James Spader. <laughs> Is it? Have you been to Comic Con before? Is this your first Comic Con? I came last year to Comic Con for a TV show I do called The Blacklist. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I, I just want to say something to all of you guys. Is I have. <clears throat> I've always thought my whole life that life could never get weird or crazy enough for me. And I gotta tell you something, this place may be the weirdest, craziest place I've ever been. Congratulations. It's because of all of you guys, and so I thank you for that because it is really fantastically crazy here. <laughs> nuts. You should pat yourselves on the back, everyone, that you are now a part of James Spader's weird fever dreams. Uh, <laughs> so what, what, can you ta what can you say about Ultron and what is it, your approach to, to the role and, and kind of what you want to bring to it? <laughs> I play an eight-foot robot in this movie. Uh, and it was... I, it was. Uh, I've always played humans up until now, <laughs> and uh, it was the, the, shooting this film was uh, as startling and surprising and challenging and exciting as coming here, truthfully, for the first time. Uh, it was doing this film was so, everything. Everything was so entirely new. Uh, the process of making it, playing this character, uh, all of the people, the world that I was entering, uh, even the world that these movies inhabit, not just in terms of story and place and people and so on, but also just the part of the movie business. It was just unimagining, unimaginably exciting. I mean, just unimaginably exciting. Uh, also, uh, welcome Elizabeth Olsen. Uh, it's, like, it's like quite a list of people to follow right now. It is, and you're, you're yeah. the last one. Oh, this it doesn't be good. feel that great. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> and so you're the other you're the other new character uh, on the block, so to speak, in terms of uh, Scarlet Witch. And, and so, what has your experience been like coming into the group and? being another, uh, the new gal? It's been awesome. I was first really intimidated by all of the people I was going to potentially work with, and then everyone was incredibly welcoming, and it's just been so much fun. And it's, it's fun to bring a new element to the game. There's now magic, there's, you know, mutant, mutated people. Um, <laughs> kind of epic to the fights that there's just a new element. It's just not just, you know, awesome punching and I don't know. Like now we get to do something different and I think it 
it brings up what, what, where Marvel's going with their other films as well and having all the, it's just like the beginning, it kind of feels like just the beginning. When you're preparing a character that does all of the things that she does, is it any different than preparing just if you're just playing a regular non-witch? Yes, I practice daily just like staring at a pencil and trying to get it. <laughs> Any luck? Any luck yet? Yeah, for hours. It's not working though? It's what? Is it working yet? You should it's, see her no, do it. It's, it's been pretty flying. Cool. I'm nailing it. <laughs> she actually cast a spell on me two weeks ago. Um, and I'm just hopefully before this is all done, she'll relieve me of it. <laughs> it burns. <laughs> that, that could mean anything. That could mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. That could mean anything. That's, not, that's all you guys. Yeah. <laughs> we can't be getting giddy this early. No. <laughs> no. Uh, obviously, you, you probably noticed that uh, Scarlett Johansson was not able to be here, even though I know that, uh, that she wanted to be here. Scarlett wanted to be here. Scarlett is pregnant. And, uh, and sent a little message if you want to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, I'm Rachel Cracker Style. I'm sort of running out of time here. Hey, Kevin, you want to be a doll and roll us that video footage? That's right. She gets right to the point. Yeah. Uh, Joss uh, couldn't be here in person. Joss sent something, so he's definitely here in spirit. The first look at Avengers Age of Ultron. <laughs>